between now and then. Well, if we had any complaints about today, which I didn't, but yeah. I did see on Twitter quite a few people saying it was a little too windy today. I thought it was great. Yeah, Eric, this was really nice. Yeah. Really nice. I'm all for it. I, I like that northwesterly breeze. It brings a refreshing air, kind of a clean feel to the air. But if you don't like all that wind, tomorrow we'll give an opportunity for similar temperatures, but without the wind. So a little bit of something for everybody. It's beautiful out there at the moment. Over the Charles River, bright blue sunshine. Temperatures in the 60s after reaching the low 70s in some spots earlier on today. Interesting patterns setting up. It is going to be real hot this week and into the holiday weekend across the southeastern states. If your Memorial Day weekend travels take you there, all time May heat will be possible. Meanwhile, look at the 30s across the Rockies where they have a snowstorm underway and really a feel of winter in the Denver area and points farther to the north in the northern Rockies. Severe weather in the middle of the country is where all the action is here at home. We've got mainly clear skies and a few speckled showers across northern New England, but they'll be missing us. Now the wind will stay gusty if you're heading out tonight. First half of the night, still some gusts over 30 miles per hour out of the northwest. Tomorrow morning, it's breezy, but not as strong. And then as the day goes on, it becomes just a pleasant northwesterly breeze and even a light sea breeze for parts of the coastline tomorrow afternoon. But it'll be a stunning day. Overnight low temperatures back into the 40s, really dry air. There is a space station flyby this evening at 832. It's a high pass, six-minute pass. This is a great one with clear skies appearing in the southwestern horizon and then moving to the northeast. You also might notice if you're up a little bit later and as I was leaving the parking lot last night, Jupiter really bright next to the moon. Look off to the southeast right next to the moon around midnight this evening. So tomorrow, a beauty. It's probably the best day of the whole week. Around 50 in the morning, temperatures finding a spot into the low 70s tomorrow afternoon. Less wind, low humidity, fantastic. Some 60s at the coast during the afternoon as that light sea breeze kicks in, but most towns into the low 70s. Top 10 weather day potential here for our Wednesday. Thursday, we'll have some morning clouds, warm fronts lifting through, and with it, a chance for a morning sprinkle or a light rain shower. Then most of the day is dry, and as we head into the overnight, this is our best chance for some scattered showers and maybe even some rumbles of thunder. Pattern for Friday has been more encouraging, maybe a pop-up afternoon shower, but mostly a dry and warmer day than it looked maybe a day ago. So our best chance of rain overall is Thursday night into very early Friday morning, pre-dawn hours. There'll be one more chance as we head to the holiday weekend, but overall I'm liking the trends here for the holiday weekend. A chance for a late day thunderstorm or overnight thunderstorm on Saturday. Clearing out, becoming warmer on Sunday, and right now it looks like a dry Memorial Day with maybe a sea breeze at the coastline, some cooler temperatures there. We'll keep you updated on all the trends as we head on in, but right now I'm thinking more pleasant than not for the holiday weekend and really for the entire seven-day. Looking pretty good. David and Lisa, back to you. All right, Eric. Thank you.